Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Insider Financial Talks Penny Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today. I'm the editor-in-chief of InsiderFinancial.com, and today we're going to be discussing CEI, BRYYF, JZZI, LTNC, BBIG, CYBL, FERN, FAMI, PUG, PUGE, TONR, and VNTH. But before we get into that, we have a few housekeeping issues to go over. We have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this video. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors, and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is our opinion and is meant for informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. For more information, please read our full disclaimer at insiderfinancial.com backslash disclaimer. With that out of the way, remember to smash the thumbs up button if you like this video. Also hit the red subscribe button and the little notification bell to be notified when we go live with a new video. Also go over to signup.insiderfinancial.com. This is where subscribers get first look at stocks we're going to be covering. Stocks like ENZC at 0.014, ABML at 7 cents, ALPP at 7.5 cents, and HMBL at 0.027. And if you click on the symbol or the percentage gain, it will take it, take you to our original profile. You can see the date and time stamp. This was written on November 13th last year before Humble was just TSNP and the stock was under three cents. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number. It works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first, followed by your number. For US and Canada, it'd be one plus area code and number. And text messages are the fastest way to get our alerts. Many times we will do a text only alert if something hot comes across our desk. And with that out of the way, let's dive in here, folks. Um, folks, I was a seller this week. Um, I don't short, um, but I was a seller. This was a great, very, very profitable week. Uh, it was a gift, and uh, we'll tell you why. First up is CEI. Um, I've been talking about this over and over again on the channel. Uh, we talked about it for uh, subscribers uh, on September 1st when it was under 50 cents. Um, <clears throat> this was a 10 bagger uh, for our subscribers. Um, you can see here September 1st, four best penny stocks right now. CEI was one of them. And it has been a tremendous run, and they, we owe it all to uh, Mr. Zach Morris, who changed his tune from March uh, 19th that uh, uh, he will never touch CEI again. Uh, he's had a change of heart, and he's come back into uh, CEI, and uh, he's brought his 550,000 followers with him. And, you know, if you go through his Twitter feed, it is non-stop pumping CEI. Uh, I mean, this is a textbook case of loading up and then pumping, pumping over and over again. This is where the $10 price target comes from. I mean, this is what he does. His job is, he has chosen his job as uh, to be a Twitter pumper, to lead his sheep into uh, his stock picks. And guys, you got to play it for what it's worth. You got to understand what's happening. You can't get greedy. You have to book profits. I mean, he is a gift, you know, because he's able to broadcast to a tremendous reach uh, you know, and you want to ride the wave. You want to ride his coattails. Uh, it's it's going to be his problem uh, when the SEC comes a calling with with uh, subpoenas and wanting to look at his trading records and uh, you know finding out the true story. And if you don't believe me, just go over to SEC.gov. You can look at under enforcement, litigation releases, administrative proceedings. I mean, this has been going on since the beginning of uh, time, since the 1920s. Uh, you know, the old uh, pump and dump. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. 
and it's uh, never ending, and it's it's never going to stop. There's there's too many people doing it, and your job as an investor is to identify, you know, the the, the pump and ride it. You know, George Soros has has a great uh, his theory of reflexivity is simply that you know where most investors want to be contrarian. It's a natural thing, be contrarian. Oh, it's a bubble, I want to go and short it. George Soros, when he f identifies a bubble, he wants to go all in and, and run with that bubble because markets are illogical. They'll go farther, you know, farther than you can ever realize in terms of price. Uh, you know, Bitcoin was, you know, a fraction of a penny at one point, now it's, you know, $48,000. So did the original Satoshi Nakamoto, you know, I, I don't think he's alive. I really think it's Hal Finney. I think he passed away. Um, well, Hal did pass away. So I, I think that, you know, he is Satoshi. And, uh, you know, I think if he was alive today, uh, he'd be shocked at uh, how far it's come uh, because it just defies the, the, the mind of, of how far things can can run and same with cei i mean it's a 10 bagger it's uh you know it's a low flow it's got a heavy short interest um so i mean everything came together perfectly and that's why he's back in it today um you know even though he vowed to never come back in uh you know he's back in it and uh you know it's worked out well for him but you know i'm not sticking around for ten dollars i mean that's his job he's gonna he doesn't want you to get out <laughs> if he if he tells it all everybody to get out, uh, then you know how can he get out? Um, because it'll tank the stock price. So you know his job is to try and keep you in as long as possible, and that's why they're saying buy the dips, dips. I mean, uh, I just uh, shake my head and uh, you know what's going on, and uh, you know if if you're blindly following him, uh, you know you're going to get hurt if if that's what you decide to do. Um, you know, uh, case in point, uh, you know, his uh, uh, cohort uh, laid back. I'll give you an example. He, he came out with this one the other, tweeted the other day. All right, guys, I have CEI. I also have two OTC ideas, BRYYF and JZZI. And he disclosed that he had a position, that he was long. And then, you know, look what happened. You know, BRYYF, huge move. Uh, this one uh, it ran 138% after his tweet. Uh, we got some follow through yesterday and big red day, big red candle. So, uh, uh, you know, people were booking profits um, and, you know, I was one of them. And, you know, you go in here and you look here and, you know, we were in. I mean, we we tell we told our subscribers four hot stocks getting hotter. B R Y Y F. I mean, laid backs tweet. This was on September third. It was a gift. You know, it was an absolute gift. And uh, you know, you had to sell into it. If you didn't sell into this, uh, uh, you know, shame on you. And you know, the move that happened on that day was so extreme that the ones that were chasing it were, you know, the market makers that were short and, uh, you know, the, you know, Tim Sykes sheeple, you know, the, the, his clown, you know, the clown and his merry followers, uh, they were chasing it. They bid it up. Um, whereas, you know, our subscribers, we've already been in it, you know, we, we've been positioned, uh, and you just wait for these catalysts. And right now, you know, with the whole 15 C to 11, I think that, you know, there was 10,000, you know, over 10,000 OTC stocks. There's down to about 4,000 that you can actively trade. So, you know, this is all good. I'm, I'm happy with the 15 C211. I want to get rid of the dog shit, you know, and then you just wait in these pinks. Right now, the best play is these pink double zeros. You know, it, there is such a demand for shells, for reverse merger candidates that, you know, this is the place to be. These pink double zeros are lotto tickets. 
and you know you're going to get one day and, and, and you're going to check your your phone and you're going to see you know uh, like what happened with BRYYF so you're going to get more of these gains uh, and it's just going to be you're going to mint money you know going forward you know and that's why you know it's so important to be you know a subscriber go over to signup.insiderfinancial.com these are the plays that we're looking to position our our subscribers in but at the same time we tell them you got to be booking profits you know right now this week we didn't see um we had one alert uh ran 60 percent uh and you know our subscribers made money but i don't come on here and and start uh you know talking about it and pumping it or, or whatever because that's not uh, my business model. i don't want to do that that's not uh, my interest uh in, in terms of uh you know put i i don't i don't get these guys that, that keep doing this you know case in point is ltnc you know stan the man you know um he was saying multi-dollars i mean at, at one point this juice drink company is going to be worth 10 20 billion dollars i mean it's bs um you know with the otc it's it's really like the 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 movie wall street uh you know where the the senior broker tells bud fox churn them and burn them if you follow my channel if you follow the site, we're talking about new stocks every week, every single week. I don't fall in love with any single stock. I'm all about making money. So for me, it's just, you know, it's about getting in early and then selling. You know, you have to book profits. Uh, and, and don't, please do not fall in love with any of these stocks because you're just going to get hurt. You know, you want to fall in love with something, go fall in love with Apple, Amazon, you know, Microsoft, something Berkshire Hathaway, something that's going to be here 10 years from now. You know, you don't know what these, uh, you know, most of these penny stocks end up going to zero. And that's a fact. So, you know, uh, but why do we trade penny stocks? Is you cannot make these types of gains anywhere else. I mean, CEI, a 10 bagger in one month, uh, you know, you look at uh, last year, you know, these are the winners that we had, we, you know, ENZC, I mean, from our, our profile price to the high, 6,000% gains, ABML, 6,000%, ALPP, 10,000%, Humble, 28,000% gain. Where can you find these types of gains? Uh, but, you know, all of these have crashed down. So, you know, these were the gains to the to the highs. But if you didn't sell, you you gave back a lot of money. So, you know, I'm not talking about ENZC anymore, ABML, ALPP, Humble. This these were big winners. I'm looking for the next ENZC, the next HMBL. That's where you make money. You know, and there will be one which what what the the next HMBL? I don't know. You know, I'm constantly st studying, looking for stock. Humble, did I think it was going to become, you know, the big gainer that it was last year? No. Anyone that told you that they, they knew it was going to become that big of a gain is full of shit. You know, no one knew it was going to become that big. You know, all I've said to people is if you trade off of charts and, you know, you learn to buy dips and sell rips, you can make a lot of money. You know, buy low, sell high, and use the charts, the moving averages, the RSIs. You'll make a fortune in being active in these runners. And that's what you have to do if you want to be successful in the long run. So just trying to help you guys make as much money as possible and, and to give you some insight as to what what's really going on. You know, I've been trading, you know, OTCs, future. I've traded everything, options, big cap, small cap, large cap, everything, international stocks. I mean, I've, I've seen it all. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to give you the insight as to, you know, some, my, some of my knowledge so that you can, you know, make your own decisions. You know, I'm not a financial advisor, but this way you can make some money along the way. And, you know, I'm not knocking Zach or laid back in any way. I, I want them to keep doing what they're doing. You know, please keep doing it. Keep all, I'm all for it because I'm going to ride the wave, but I'm going to be booking profits along the way. 
you know, and I'll just wait for their, for, uh, uh, you know, hopefully they pick up another one of my uh, 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 picks and, uh, you know, who knows, maybe they're even subscribers. I don't know. We have over 100,000 emails, uh, subscribers. So, you know, maybe they're uh, getting some of the research from me. So I don't know. Who knows? Uh, what's else? Uh, BBIG. Uh, this is another one that you needed to get out of. I know a lot of people uh, hate George Sharp, but uh, he was right on, right on this one. I mean, George, say what you want about him. The guy's been around. He knows markets. You know, he knows dilution. He knows uh, what's happening. You know, if you get a guy like a Brian McFadden, uh, who's, who's, you know, been involved in awesome penny stocks and you know that was a big pump and dump group in the you know late 2000s uh you know this is you know he's been around he knows these guys and these guys have a modus operandi you know the birds of a feather flock together and what a tiger doesn't change its stripes so you know hate him or love him you know george you know he's got his faults like we all do but you know you got to follow, you know, you got to follow them because, uh, you know, if you saw this and you were a big BBIG bull, well, that would have given you pause uh, to get out, book some profits or even, you know, buy some puts along with George and, uh, you know, you made money. So, you know, in the end, I know a lot of people want to blame people and point fingers, but if you lose money in a stock, in the end, it's, it's your own fault. It's not anyone else's fault. So, you know, um, in, in these cases, you know, I'm showing you here, you've had plenty of opportunity to book profits. And, you know, if you didn't and you end up losing money, well, you know, just use it as a learning experience and don't let it happen again. Um, two, in, in particular, CYBL. These are ones that, you know, we've had our, our subscribers in. And I've been talking about this. I talked about it last weekend. I said, guys, RSI getting high. You know, it's, it, it's going to run out of, uh, you know, it's going to exhaust and it's going to sell off. And it's sold off. Bingo. Sold off. You know, I sold this week. I mean, where I'm out. You know, this is, it was, it was, it was choreographed to you guys. So, I don't know what more else I can do to, to help you guys. Uh, FAMI, this one was uh, got a lot of uh, chatter this week. This is a Chinese company. If you got bag hold in this, you know, I have no sympathy for you. I mean, this is a Chinese dog shit stock, okay? Alibaba can't rally in this market. Why would FAMI r rally? So this was just a relief rally. It ended down 23%. You know, it's back where it was uh, middle of the week. You know, guys, start doing more homework. You know, start looking at the big picture, you know, and, uh, and don't be following, you know, some guy with uh, one follower, you know, with no, uh, uh, you know, picture on stock twits or Twitter, you know, as the voice of, of what you're doing. So, you know, Learn, live and learn, as we say. Uh, winners, P-U-G-E -P -U and T-O-N-R, huge winners this week. Guys, these, these are, you know, pinks uh, with uh, $40 million market caps only. You know, T-O-N-R, double zero, this is what I'm talking about. Pink, double zero, started at point zero zero one. it's at point oh one two nine. You know, this is over two weeks. It's it's a uh, over a ten bagger. So, you know, these are no brainer plays right now. Uh, VNTH. Uh, this is another one this week. Huge runner. Uh, this is as a, just a twenty three million dollar market cap. So, you know, there's plenty of opportunities. Uh, you know, make sure you're are signed up at, at signup.insiderfinancial.com. You know, uh, we'll be bringing you some new alerts this week. Um, and, you know, guys, just, just make money. You know, don't fall in love with any of these stocks. You, you're going to get burned if, if you fall in love. It's all about P&L. So, you know, churn them and burn them. Uh, you know, turn that account. You know, be positioned uh, and, and don't fall in love with anything. And, uh, you know, learn how these Twitter pumpers work and uh, you'll be in a lot better uh, financial position if you understand what's going on. 
With that being said, I want to thank everyone for watching, following, subscribing, and uh, I'll be coming live to you uh, with, the, with the new video uh, tomorrow. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.